Hey guys, welcome back to another Skyrim Adventures episode. My name is Brandon Rich. Um, unlike most of my other videos, I do have myself in the corner of the screen normally, but for this video I am just going to do audio, and for that reason is because I am actually in the middle of moving a lot of things, including my lamps. So I don't have any lights right now, and so you wouldn't really be able to see me that well. I mean, I could turn lights on in the room, but the lighting is awful without the lamps. So, you guys will just have to do with my voice this time around. So. Before we go to the Ethereum Forge, I actually found this little um, area here called Redwater Den in between Treva's Watch and Shore's Stone, which is where you get, uh, whatever. Anyways, it's also northwest of Riften right over here, and the reason I want to record this is because I don't think I've ever been here before. It's a really unique place. Hold it. If you're going downstairs, you keep your weapons to yourself or we'll be getting better acquainted. Head on in, and behave yourself. Yes, sir. Um, I want to first steal from this chest real quick. Nice. Okay, sweet. Looks like we're going down here. And... <laughs> Let's find out what this place is. Oh, welcome, welcome. What is this place? <laughs> Wait, you're serious? This is the Redwater Den. Purveyors of the best skooma outside of Balmora. Alrighty, so let's persuade her. Since it's your first time, sure. Find a booth and enjoy. Okay, sweet. Persuade. Well, so long as you don't tell anyone. Here, take you can also open this door here. Before someone notices. Hey, you. Another Same one? Ten. How about you pay for your habit like everybody else? We're not running a charity here. Okie dokie. <coughs> Need something? They're all just coughing in here. Better dreams here. <coughs> what? Who? You're that one from hell. Helgen, eh? Honestly, this uh, lockpick is nice, but it definitely makes me lazier in terms of like being good at lockpicking. I just kind of use it until I go. Barely made it out of there myself. I hurt my back, and I, I just need something for the pain. Uh huh. Nice, a flawless diamond. That's what I'm talking about. And oh my gosh, look at this place. So I'm just gonna rush in here. You're mine. What this guy has on him. A Redwater Den backrooms key, and of course the usual vampire dust and whatnot. Since we have the key, we can now unlock all the doors, I'm assuming. Uh, Conjure, huh? That is a bummer. And we can sell telekinesis. I I heard some... Time to end this What's up, dude? <laughs> You're doing some damage on us, my friend. Sleeping tree sap? We're going to actually have a quest, I believe, that we'll use that. All this moon sugar. Man, this is crazy. Yeah, I don't think I've seen a place quite like this before in the game. So, it's really unique and special, I guess. Beehive tusk? I don't think I've ever eaten that. Let's go do the ingredients and eat it real quick. Oh, we have. Okay, whatever. I'm assuming that we're going to have to drop that bridge at some point, so let's go ahead and continue our way through, shall we? <laughs> yeah, the reason they can't hear me is because I have those boots that are muffled. Cheese wedge, no thanks. Oh, here's a lever. Okay, sweet. Onward we go to discover the mystery behind this place. And this is what it looks like from above, so really neat. Venerous Vulpin's Journal. Okay, you guys can read this. Let's see. So it looks like uh, he has become addicted to. So why don't you just drink the blood from the spring? I mean, that seems easier than running a skooma den. The boss said it's some sort of profaned spring. It looks like blood, but it's not the real thing. Drinking it gives you strength, 
But it also gets you pretty messed up. That's why we thought of putting it in the skooma. Okay, so that right there tells you what they're doing and why. Ah, man, these guys have <laughs> met unfortunate deaths. I don't know what we're getting hurt by necessarily, but I want to search his body. Okay, we can't search it. We're just, just carrying vampirism. Holy cow. This place is huge. I was hoping to get something special, but I guess... Oh, okay, hold up. This must be the fountain that they were talking about earlier. One sec. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I don't know what activating the blood spring does, so I'm going to go ahead and quick save it. You have contract... Oh, shit. Hold up. Okay, so we... <laughs> Vampirism. Okay, so we just... Okay, so this is how you become a vampire, apparently. I'm going to go ahead and drink a potion of cure disease. Because we don't want to be a vampire. Okay, good. We got rid of it. So, uh, yeah, this, this will basically activate you as a vampire in case you want to be one. I'm not going to be one, though, because forget that. We've been over this before. There anything else in here? I don't think so. Lesser soul gem, no soul. Well, now we've discovered the big dark secret of this place, and that is that these guys are. Oh, you know what? I totally killed the dealer. Thank you. Yeah, the red water skooma. How nifty is that? And we'll go ahead and take the gold and a sweet roll for good measure. Go ahead and eat that real quick. Certainly, yeah, no. Okay, well, that, that was a neat little place. Okay, guys, yeah, sorry about that. Onward to... Don't go setting the place on fire, okay? Vampire throw? Okay, sounds good, dude. <laughs> what do you have, my friend? Okay, fantastic. Thanks for your contribution. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, we are here. You picked a bad time and to get lost, friend. I'll show you guys where it is on the map after I kill these guys. So yeah, we've located the Ethereum Forge, so that's good. No, you don't. We did it. All right, real quick to show you guys. So it is in the ruins of Bethalf. Now, contrary to what the book says, I'll go ahead and pull that out too real quick. Let's go to it. It is in Katria's journal. Katria's or whatever, however you pronounce it. So it says the number five is down south. And from what I was thinking, it looked like she was talking about this place right here. This is what would make more sense in my opinion. But it's all the way up freaking here. And so yeah, right to the left of Alchemist Shack and right to the left of Trevor's Watch. Here's Redwater Den where we just were. So now this is where we're at in the ruins of the fall. You made it. And you brought... Look at the device here. The gear in the center is just about the right size. Time out. I want to make sure that the voice volume is high enough. Oh, it is? Okay, sweet. We're good. Try putting the shards in, and we'll see what happens. Ah, so nice. Complete the Ethereum shards. Try... Taking it out? Come on! What the? Get back! Hurry! Okay, sounds good. Ooh. I'm actually gonna get on top of it. Oh shoot, it pushes you off. Okay. That's kind of a bummer. It's, it's true. It's all true. Come on, let's check it out. Alright, in we go. Damn, look at this tree. This is rad. Ah, oh, yet another puzzle, my friends. Before we can enter, we must uh, put those switches up top and see if there's anything over here. Door shut tight. I bet those resonators would open it, though. Oh, wow. It's 
Skyrim holding your hand since day one. Go ahead and unlock this chest real quick because we're trying to get that lock picking up. Okay, it's on the left side. Not too much right here. Nailed it. Yeah, no. Gosh, that was dumb. All right. So I guess we'll go ahead and get our incinerate out and we'll do the one on the left and the one on the right. gentlemen here Is we are the forge? okay I'm gonna go ahead and quick save it and I'm also going to take all this stuff off and we won't be able to see our health for a good reason this guy could be a good screensaver so here we go not screensaver but you guys know what I mean okay so in order to clear out the steam we must flip these valves There we go. We did it. Hold up. Something fishy's going on. Damn, what the Uh oh. Spiders. Alright, we can Okay, yeah, this isn't bad. I got you, fam. I'm gonna pull out closed wounds as well. Oh jeez. Look at that thing. Yeah. Hold up. Not done yet. I want to make sure this is good. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, we can go ahead and turn our settings back on. Here we go. The Forge Master. Went down in three hits to our amazing sword. Okay, Grand Ruby and yeah, he, he wasn't anything too special, but I mean it was something. I almost can't believe it. There's only one thing left to do. We have to prove this actually works. That this is the real Ethereum Forge. How do we do that? By forging something, of course. Go ahead. After everything, there isn't any Ethereum here, is there? Damn it. Wait. Yes. Yes, there is. The shards we collected, they're pure Ethereum, remember? It's not much, but it'll do. Okay, sounds good. With them and the materials in this room, we should have everything we need. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Make it count. This may be the only okay, chance we have so... to we get to use the forge, I guess. Let's go ahead and see what we can make. I think there's three options. So there's the stat, where you can summon a dwarven spider or spear for 60 seconds wherever the caster is pointing. There is enemy struck by shield becoming irrethero for 15 seconds, making them unable to be attacked or be attacked. And then there's the ethereal crown, which retains the last name stone ability you held, granting you its effects in addition to those of your current stone. So you can have two standing stone abilities, and I am going to make the crown. I know a lot of people make the staff, but I'm going to make the crown for the pure fact that we don't have to lock pick certain locks, and we can also have another standing stone. So that is what I'm going to do, my friends. I'm also going to get some dwarven ingots and a dynamo core in case. And let's go ahead and craft ourselves a crown, shall we? So yeah, the shield needs four, um, but we're just going to do this guy just to be safe. So, ethereal crown, here I come. Beautiful. 
That crown. It's everything I could have hoped for. And with that, it's done. No one could possibly deny what we found. Now. Congratulations. I've waited so long for this moment. We found it at last. Indeed we have, haven't we? And now I think I can rest. Farewell, my friend. Wherever your travels take you. Farewell to you too. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh let's see. We can get to the apparel here. See what the crown looks like on us. Ah, look at that beauty right there. That is something to behold, isn't it? So, anyways, just back here is a whole bunch of lava. And you can actually swim in it, believe it or not. Um, I don't want to die. One sec. Extreme healing. There we go. Yeah, we would have died had we not drank these potions. Just saying. That was not smart to me. I didn't think it was going to make us swim. I thought you could just walk across. Yeah! yeah, it's not friendly. Needless to say, you can't really go far. <laughs> Unless you had, like, infinite health or something. You could probably swim to the other side, but I don't think there's anything out there. Yeah, anyways, we're going to go ahead and get out of this place now. Um, so I'll see you guys when we get out. The rest of this episode, we're just going to kind of do some random adventures. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so we're just kind of going around these different areas. We're at Honey Strand Cave, which is just a walk away from the ruins of the Thoth. Anyway, so yeah, we're just going to kind of do a whole bunch of random... I think in the next two to three episodes, I'm just going to kind of travail throughout Skyrim and go on random hunts. Uh, just, just for the heck of it. The locked room, we've already read that, and yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, no. I think it's just a cave full of bears. Yeah, take that man right down the mouth. That is a bummer for him. This cave doesn't have much to offer, does it? Um, is that really it? That's beautiful. Um, okay, it looks like... Yeah, that's it. That's everything. Okay, simple cave. So we'll go ahead and exit out here and continue on. For the parts that are boring and tedious, I might just fast forward it for you guys, honestly. Um, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. So yeah, I'll see you when we get to our next location, unless something happens. Hold up. This is interesting. There is a dead woodcutter. And I'm going to see if there's anything that is significant about this guy. Dang, he's just a dead woodcutter. And, uh, well, there's his axe on the floor right there. You can't see it, but you can see it. I don't know, it's a kind of a bummer that he died. Well, and guess what? The fire is smoking, meaning this happened rather recently. So whatever killed him, hopefully it's dead or we will kill it. Trevor's watch, huh? That's our light armor. After we increase our light armor, we'll start using heavy armor. For 100, that is. I don't know if we have the warrior stone activated or not. I don't remember. I hear you are. Yeah, no thanks, dude. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's a mission here even. One sec. Find the moon amulet. Yeah, alright. Sounds good. Nah, take it like a man. Okay, um... Nah, here it is. Okay, sweet. Trevor's watch. So yeah, there's a moon amulet that we gotta find for a Khajiit caravan traveler. So that is what we're going to do. A chest, don't mind if I do. 65 gold, worth it. And in terms of gold, we have 91,000. Not a ton, but we do have some. Time now to end this piece. The reason I'm fighting all these guys instead of skipping them is because I'm trying to get my one handed up. Yeah, he had a really uh, gargly death animation. He's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. poor guy. 
What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even see it coming. This is death is quick. Ooh, wow. Went straight into that one. What do we have here? A chest? Oh my gosh, no. We don't want that nasty-ish. Get out of my inventory, please. Is that steel? Also, forget those in, those rings. We don't need those. Hey, dude. Hey. <laughs> Holy cow. That yeah. was from behind. Dude, this guy does quite a bit of damage, if I do say. We gotta get right in his face. Nah, you should have stuck to your magic, dude. It was so much better than your dagger. Staff of reanimation? Worth it. I'll show you what a real orchid is. No, is that, is that so, my friend? Hold up, the bandit chief has an item. What do you have, my friend? Glass Warhammer? Dang, that's nice. Ooh. So much easier to rob. Okay, um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and grab those very expensive potions. Sell them later for a nice stack of gold and the Wolf Queen and yeah, no. Where's that moon amulet? Anyways. A chest. Don't mind if I do. Okay, continuing on. Huh? Ah, what's up guys? Over here. Oh, I missed? Ah! I swear power attacks are so hard to hit these people the sometimes. Hell. Dude had a shield and he didn't even use it. What a shame. And look at all these amazing chests with no lock picking whatsoever. It's actually kind of nice. Oh wow, I jinxed myself, my friends. Let's go over here. Ah, nailed it. And our lock picking increase, which is an amazing. Holy cow, this place has a lot of good loot, no lie. Cure disease, yes. Okay, the heck, I'm gonna get out of here. This way we go, down through here. Ah, are we even close to the moon amulet? Like, I feel like this, this is a huge place, like a huge dungeon. Travelers watch escape tunnel? Yeah, we did not get the moon amulet, unfortunately. I'm trying to find it. Up. Hey, bud. I didn't want to kill you, but you kind of left me no choice. Hmm. Wow, that's unfortunate. They had killed those Imperials. Sad day. Look how many enemies there are in here. My goodness. Damn you! Look at them. Son of a. Correct. And your turn. Ooh. Man, these slow motions are. That is what it's all about. Grand Soul Gem, Great Soul Gem, and of course, a chest. Okay, nothing else. Well, we'll just go ahead and go down these stairs now. I'm hoping the moon amulet. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and go backwards, and I'll go ahead and skip all this, and I'll be back in a sec. Stuff just take it and go. Once, just a woman. 
Okay, instead of going to the right over here, we're gonna go up these stairs. I believe the moon amulet will be up here. It's time to end this little game. Listen, man, don't tell your friends I'm here, alright? I need you to keep quiet. Oh, wow. It must be up here. There's the bandit chief that we were looking for. Do you have it? Oh, come on. Where is it? Is it in a chest? Twin Secrets? We've already read that. And Spell Tone Courage? No, thanks. Ruins of Kamelzi? Maybe I'll read this later and maybe it'll, it'll lead us to a certain place. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and flip through it so that people can pause it and read it in their own time. My goodness, this is a long one. This is a straight up story, holy cow, it's like a novel, man. I'm talking J.K. Rowling Harry Potter long, compared to most other books in this game, especially. Holy cow, I didn't think it was ever gonna end. All right, and we'll go ahead and take this elixir, Enchanter's elixir, and of course we're gonna, Argonian account? Nah, it's not, the, it's not the one I was thinking of. All right. I'm not sure why I clicked on the Arcane Enchanter, but whatever, oh. Sweet. Absorbed Magica. We actually found that axe inside of the Aetherium area. There's the moon amulet we wanted. Okay, fantastic. Well, now we can go ahead and get out of here because we've completed Trevor's watch. And now we can, well, search this chest and get some free gold and glass armor, which, oof, I'm going to take. All right. Um, I guess... I want to fight some dragons, so that is what we will do guys, so I will see you when we get to a dragon area. This seems to be epic. Oh jeez, jeez that freaking scared the piss out of me, he was just right there. It's just a dragon, huh? Yes, land, you idiot. So we'll slay you with our sword. Where did he go? Is that him down there? <laughs> okay, I'm very confused and lost right now. Oh, wow. What a true victory that was, my friends. I don't know what that <laughs> This game's amazing. We'll go ahead and collect his soul in a second. I want to, well, I want to make sure we get everything up here. And I guarantee there's a word wall, which is yes, right over here. <laughs> what are we learning today? Suffer, mark for death. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, fantastic. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go down here then, and we're going to go collect his soul, and then we are going to go kill another dragon. That's unfortunate. Okay, guys, I think we're uh, just about here. Lost, lost tongue overlooking. There is the dragon himself. He looks a little harder. I'm not going to learn that word yet. I want that to be our prize for defeating this monster, wherever he is. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get dragon ran on this dude. Do him! Ah, shit, we missed. Get down here, bro. Holy crap. He's taking a little more to hurt. Ah. Our, our sword is amazing. So, um, we took care of him a lot easier than I thought it was going to be to take care of him, to be honest. And he does have quite a bit more gold and a flawless diamond. Here's also what I'm going to do, just for you viewers out there. Let me pull a thunderbolt out. There we go. Shoot his body down that cliff. See ya. Alright, awesome. Now let's see what word of power we are to learn. Terror, dismay. Nice. And see what we get in the chest. Battle axe. Oh yes. That is some nice ass loot, my friends. All right, fantastic. Well, uh, I think we've cleared this. So, um, yeah, we can now go fight one more dragon if we have time. It says we didn't clear it. 
Why is that? Autumn Watchtower, yeah, Lost Tongue Overlook is just east of Crystal Drift Cave and just south of Rifton. It's kind of weird saying that we didn't clear it, um, even though I'm pretty sure that we did. But whatever, what are you going to do, right? Okay, well, anyways, I'll see you guys when we get to the next dragon location. Ah, look at the man, there he is. Doesn't even know we're here, poor guy. Oh, dang it, we missed him. Oh, well, that's just a mere dragon. And it looks like there is... Well, someone used to sleep here. Come on down, bro. Man, I almost feel bad. That was almost too easy. These aren't even fun to watch for you guys, are they? What a bummer for that man right there. Go ahead and unlock this chest. We don't have too much more time, so I want to try and do this rather quickly. Thank you for cooperating. We'll go ahead and grab these. Nice. And we don't have room for that glass sword. We really don't. And there's a smelter up here? How crazy is that? And there's a word wall. Let's see what word we learn. Seek, aura whisper. Awesome. And then in this chest we get these items. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, fantastic. Now we also found the source of power up here and we learned the word shout here. So now we're going to go ahead and shout into another city and eventually, well, hold up. Obtain ore sample from Finyar? Wow. Alright, we're going to have to save this for the next episode. So I will go in here soon, guys, and I will see you guys in the next episode, hopefully. The next episode I also won't be filming myself. It'll just be my voice again. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, my name is Brandon Rich.